Hello there, this is Tails from Studio Wildfur, and I've been tinkering with my isometric map tiles, as you can see by the picture that I have here in Fantasy Grounds. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use the these map tiles, this is volume two of my isometric map tiles, to build your own little adventure map just like this. So let's close this one and start with a brand new one. So we'll go down to our images, we'll go create item, here is our blank, our blank map canvas, so we'll pop it up to the top there and make it full screen, leaving an area on this side, because that is where our assets panel is going to go. Now, um, first thing to do is set the grid. So we'll need to come over here to grid type, change it down to the isometric square. Now, if you don't know the uh, size to set the grid, I have this little image in the core folder of the isometric map tiles that you can open up and look, and it has the width and height to set the image to. So let's set this to 710. That's the size that I use. Now, uh, depending upon your graphics card, you may not see the lines. If you don't see the grid, just grab a tile, whack it down, and there it is. Let's, you know, zoom out to get to a point that you're happy with. So let's start. So the best thing to do when building with isometric is to start at the top of your map and work down and then work in chunks. So build, sort of build one room or area, one on top of the other. Because um, a lot of stuff you need to have overlapping. So if I just zoom in here, I can show you very quickly. So we've got this tile here, but then we've got another tile. Now, because I've placed this one that I'm moving around down just now, it is over the top of this one that's in the background. But if I had have placed placed it first and then the other one second, you'd end up with this situation where you see this is over the top of this one, so it doesn't look right. Um, getting things, you know, layer order can be quite imp important when using the isometric map tiles. So uh, let's start by making a room. So I'm just going to make a... Yeah, so I'm just going to make a small little room. This is purely just a demo. I'm just quickly throwing these down. Um, okay, so that one there. That one there. Then there. Then there. 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 And there. So this is going to be our room. So let's just say we're going to have a, a, a doorway coming off this side. It'll go down a set of stairs. Uh, to another room and we'll have a little corridor that'll turn around. So let's put some walls around this. So let's go up to, so we're in our floor, let's go up to our walls. Now you'll notice in the walls that I've got some new ones. I've got some uh, some broken, broken down bits. I've got um, some fully, fully broken down wall sections. Now the, the good thing about these is that you can use these to to create, because uh, this is this is a, a ruins theme, so you could you could create a ruin out in the middle of the the forest with no roof on it. You know the whole thing's fallen down, um, or you could just use these as interesting little texture pieces. Because the way I've designed uh, the walls and tiles now, compared to the original volume one set, is that everything's sort of based on a single square. It's it's uses sort of the same build philosophy I have with my my 2D map tiles. So you have, you go and pop your floor down and then you go and put your wall down on top of it. So you can see that this is covering over this. Whereas the original ones, the original volume ones, which I've still got assets in, in this set like it, um, it was on the basis that 
the you're sort of creating the wall is within the is the whole tile so this would be a five foot thick wall we're now doing this build method the wall is let me go back up and grab it the wall is within the tile sort of the tile edge so then the interesting thing is that we can go and do sort of a two-tiered or layered effect so we could have a wall say in this tile behind us which because we've got a hole in this wall or a hole in the wall that'll go in front of it let me just grab the next one yeah. so we can have so you can see part of this wall is poking through so it gives us some interesting little design elements to work with but let's get back to what we we're building so we're going to have a, a building here so we'll have a room coming up here so I'm going to put the wall around the back first so I'll go with full fully completed walls uh, here we go okay so there's a wall these now uh, you may notice if you look at the file names uh, because I've got walls that are for this side this side this side and this side each element has a north south east and west uh, alignment to it so for example if I go on uh, this wall down that's my eastern wall for this block I could have this wall which is on the northern side northern side so paying attention to the, the naming and it's usually at the end it's usually the last thing I put in before the number at the end of the file name so for example this one if I mouse over it it's called wall a1 design wall design one a design sorry wall design a1 inside which means it's inside a single square because I I did have some assets that had inside a single square then outside a, a single square but I got rid of the outside ones because that was just too confusing uh, where were we okay so this is wall a1 design one design a1 um, inside because inside a single character square n which is for north and then the and then it is the um, replication. So this is zero 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 one. This is zero 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 zero, which is which is actually the first one. But I start all my numbering at zero, <laughs> just to be difficult. So let's pop down the rest of this wall. There we go. So that's our, our wall. Now I do have some faded sections, which I'll pop down just so you can see if I can find them here we go so since it's a isometric map usually you leave these two sides completely open so you can see what's going on inside it's just part of the artistic style in order to give it that sort of extra 3d look I've got these faded edge wall sections which sort of has the turn of the wall coming back around but it's faded out so you can see through it nice little artistic feel so that's our room now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop it in a layer I mean pop it in a folder so that way we can keep it separate for anything that we build in front of it and I'm going to lock it so we don't edit it so then let's put a corridor coming out through here so again I'm going to go to our floor and I'm going to just use these guys actually no I might something more interesting is these ones here we go they've got some patched bits there we go so let's just say our walls you know our, our, it's going to come along here and then let's let's just turn it back because that's you know, interesting and we've got uh, a bit of a broken area with a bit of dirt back to these ones that should be enough for us so again let's pop in a wall 
Now, what we could do is we could do a, a faded section here into the full wall with another turn fade here and again on this side. So let's let's try that out. Uh, see how that looks. So I'll start with. I think this is the fade I want to use here. Yep. So that way it's 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 fading out here. So we know that there's a wall there. And then we'll go to this wall in here. And then another one. Now this is where we want the fade again. But we want to use this couple of different fades. This one at the end of this of the wall set is important because it has, if you look at the bar, at the end of it here, has a little bit of a gap. That's assuming that you're butting it up against the wall that's already there. Whereas if you have a look at um, there's other faded walls within the set, just here, they assume that there's no wall. It's going right up against the next tile, whereas the one that I, whereas this one. It assumes that there is a there is a there is a gap there. So it can be important which one you use. But if you hold down Control, you can just whack whichever one you like there, as long as it lines up, and you're good. I'll get rid of that one. Oops. So that snaps into place. Now that's that wall. Now let's do the same thing with this one coming through here. So what I might not do is I'll just leave. Yep, so I'll put it in like that. Although, since we've got this bit of passageway behind us, using the form might, the fade might be a good idea. So use this bit. Oh, now he's he's actually on the uh, never he's uh, okay. He's on the southern side. So we want a northern. the southern one, that's the northern one. So one of northern wall, there we go. And we'll just continue this through. There we go. So whoops, I've just dragged this image down. So it's looking pretty good. Yeah, we can see that there's a little bit of overlap here. If I was in Photoshop I'd, I'd fade that out more but you know it's it's good enough to know what we're doing in um, in fantasy grounds like the the map creating tools in fantasy grounds are pretty awesome uh, but you know you don't have the to access to tools like you know, you know a, a fade or a pencil or something like that that you can sort of fade bits out with okay so let's Let's put in a staircase here. Now, doing staircases is a little bit tricky because I've got them. If we have a look at the elements that I have for it, so let's have a look at the staircase. Okay, so we've got a lot of bits and pieces here. So we've got full staircase pieces. So if I just zoom right in. So if you have a look at this, you'll see that it takes up a full map grid square so this is bricks all the way to the sides and it's down between a layer between so between this map grid area or this this level of map grid and this level of map grid so this one takes up the full thing and it's got brick brickwork underneath it so we're not going to use that one uh, this one is is the same except it assumes that it is already on the ground floor because that's the, that's the faded ground floor underneath it not going to use that either that's when you want to fill the entire square with um, uh, steps but what we want to do is we want to have steps coming down here with a cutout on one side for this wall so because this is like I, we could have a we could have the cutout on this side as well, which I do have pieces for that, but 
because this wall, this side is all open so we can see the artwork, we're not going to need it. But uh, the way I've done the cutout, uh, and you'll see there's two folders. There's one called cut out both walls, which means that there's two wall. It's cut out on both sides. Cut out one wall. It's cut out on the far side. Which we'll have a look at that one. So, for example, if it snaps, so it snaps in place here. So if I pop it there, assuming that the the, the staircase was going up this way, you can see that it's got the gap for the wall on this side. Now. One thing it also comes with, if I get rid of that, is a, a block that fills in if we want to put it on top. So we're going up at like a, a full story because each staircase goes half level and then full level. So what we're going to do is since this is, whoops, didn't want to move that. This will be coming down from this level down to a lower level. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create another folder. Let's call this uh, passageway. Passageway, and pop all this stuff into my passageway folder. This all, this is also good because you can go and hide sections. You know, as as players are going through, um, you can hide. You know, you can hide that back room until they actually get to it. So let's call it the back room. Whoops. Back room. Okay. So now we're going to build a staircase. So let's start. We start with the floor first up. Um, now, one thing I could have done with this this area here. Um, is I could have actually used faded blocks here. They said that it actually had, um, like it looked like it didn't just end here. The floor wasn't this level. I could have gone up from here. Or in fact, in fact, why don't I do that? I'll just make this staircase go up from here. Uh, so let's put in, uh, so let's turn the corner. There we go. So we'll have, we'll make a staircase go up from here. We'll go up one level and then you know maybe make the, the corridor go along again. Okay, so how are we going to do this? So th now we're going to need a. Uh, so I should have done that the other way around. There we go. Okay, so we'll have the corridor. So we'll have the staircase start in the next square. And we'll put in... We'll go back to these tiles. And again, this is where... Because I'm actually going backwards, I'm actually going back up this way, so I should have done this the other way around. to make these look correct. So there. Now let's whack a wall on top of that. <laughs> so first thing I want here is a, is a corner piece. So let's go to our walls. Uh, find our corners. There we are. So we want this one right there. And again, I'm doing this the wrong way around. Uh, I need a wall section. Okay, so Let's put in this one. This one looks cool. And again, I need to just adjust that. There we go. Now, I do have a stepped wall. And I'm probably building this too close to this one. So we're going to have a bit of overlap here. So maybe... Maybe I just move all of this two forward and put in some more floor sections. Uh, let's go to here. 
So we would have this, that there, and this here. So that's correct. We need these under there. That's great. Okay, that's that's looking good. And then we want to have so wall sections come back here. Uh, walls, walls, walls. Maybe I'll put a bit of broken wall in. And then we'll go for a bit of normal wall. Do, 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 there. Clunk. Now, this is where we end up with having to work out where things are. So that's the cornerstone, we want that to come back up, and that's in the right place. There we go, everything's everything's good. Okay, everything's in the right place now. So let's find our wall steps. This is where I've got to remember where I put them. transition. Here we are. So that's one that we need. So again I've got to put that behind the right level. There we go. So as you can see it's going it's stepping up to a level transition. Now I'm going to duplicate that one because we need that. It's going up to a full level hot transition. And I need to put it behind the other one. Now we don't need this. This gap, don't worry about it, it's fine. Because this is where our staircase is going. So let's go and put our staircases pieces in. So we need the floor staircase. Again, I'm just using a cutout on one side. So cut out one wall. Now I'm gonna pop down the filler block first, which fills that gap, and then our pieces of staircase. And there we are. There's our staircase. So we could then come along and build another room here, which I shall quickly do. But first I'm going to create a folder, call it um, passageway with stairs. Oops. There we go. Uh, now I'm I'm just building this completely on the fly. Um, I don't really have a plan with what I'm building. This sort of this gives you an idea of how you can you can build maps with these uh, art assets yourself and be as creative as you like. So let's put in a room up the top here. Uh, back to the floor. Now I've got some funky, funky textured tiles which I want to use, which are these ones. So this is going to be fun working out which ones go where. So start with this one. That can go there. So I'm going to just, I'm actually going to build this room here and then move it into place. Uh, so now I need this one. Whoops. That can go there. That can go there. And that can go there. Then actually I might use, because I've got a few different textures, I might use this texture, which I think suits those tiles a little better. Oops. There we go. So then we need... Which one's that one? That one goes on the bottom. I'm pretty certain we need this one. Yep. And then we need this one. Nope, that goes on the bottom. We need this one. And back to these. Two of those. And where was that one that we needed on the bottom? Oop, not him. It's Oop. 
Where? I had it a moment. There it is. That one. Okay, so there's our room. Let's, uh, now we want to, so I'm going to grab all of these, move them down to here. Now, I've got some overlay going on here, but when I move all of these folders up the top, it's now perfect. Now it looks like what, it, what we want it to look like. But this is overlaying this, so let's move this back, back about there, put in a fade and one uh, tile of connection. There, like that. And then we put a, a bit of faded wall over the top of it. So let's find some wall. There we go. So that goes there. move them to the correct position. There we go. Everything looks right. There we go. So again, we want to fill this in. Now, let's say that this is our entrance. So we're going to put a doorway uh, here. Let's put it here. So that we could have a doorway coming into our little dungeon. And we have a doorway uh, set of tiles. Uh, but we'll also put in a floor because we have a wall edge section and some dirt tiles. So hopefully I'm going to grab out the right ones. There we go. So you can see in this tile, it's all dirt here and then there's a line of bricks. So that's so we can put a wall on top of our line of bricks. Because my whole the whole thing I want to do is be able to have it so that you can build your wilderness file, I'm um, sorry, wilderness file, wilderness map straight into your dungeon. So we build, put that there. Now I am going to just duplicate it. So we go up here. Uh, now we need these around the other way. Oops. This one should actually be down here, so we want this one there. Oops, hang on. Now we want this one here. This one here. This one here. And again, move them all to the bottom. So there we go, that they're correctly positioned. So we could even go further and do we have Dirt, ground, dirt and ground tiles, here we go. So we could create a transition area. Oops. So these are some dirt tiles. I'm just gonna you know, make a little patch. Then I'm just going to bring it down the bottom here and put it, oop, there we go. So it's quite a drastic transition from these dirt tiles to these dirt tiles. I'm still working on these ones. They'll be, they'll, they'll change and undergo development as I um, progress. And there'll be multiple different uh, types of dirt and texture. But this is, this is starting out. So that is that. Now let's start with putting in the walls and a doorway. So let's start with the walls. To start with the corner first. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put a doorway here and then I'm going to put a window here because you know that'll look cool. Uh, so let's find these sections. So we just want to have a bit of wall. That's, now that's got a different texture to it. Go back up to the top. Oh, wrong one. Well, actually, I should have done this a different way. 
I should have started with these ones on the outside, then these on the inside. So let's do that. So let's start with... So this is the southern wall. So this is what I mean by two-layered. So this is, this is in this square, but on the southern side of that square. So let's go back up to the top where we should have... Where is it? Doorway. Here we go. So here's our doorway. So again, we want the southern side of the doorway. Pop that there. Uh, now we're looking for our window. Did I put that in a separate folder? Or no, I think it's just in here. Which means he might be... There it is. So again, we need to find the southern side. That's the southern side of our window southern side of our window. Pop it there. Now we come and do the inside uh, tiles. So let's start with this corner section which goes here. So we pop that down. There we go. Then we want our doorway. So that's the northern version. Now the door is rather simple. It's just brickwork and a little inset, inset area. Um, I'm going to be looking at making actual wooden doors later on. Uh, and then we do the same thing with our window. We want the northern, the northern inside section of the window. And there it is. Now we can come back and grab the grab our fade, pop it in, and there's our faded wall. So we know that there's a bit of wall coming down this side, even though it's not rendered in. And we come back and we do the exact same thing on this side. So we grab, uh, so let's use a bit of broken wall. Whoops. Uh, is that the, no, we want eastern side wall. Where is it, where is it? Eastern, Eastern, this one. There we go. And then we want a bit of faded wall. So we want this, this section. There we go. And then we need to shuffle things around so we get these layers on top. And then we have another folder. We'll call it our entrance. all the pieces from our entrance, pop them in the entrance. Now again we're getting a bit of overlap here which is because our entrance, which is on top of all this stuff, and all this stuff is sort of dropped away. There we go. Uh, there we go. So let's get this in fold correctly. The entrance should be down here. There we go. So there is our dungeon. So let's pop some some pieces into it like uh, props which we I'm starting to work on now so we've got some some few props. So we've got a little wall mounted candle. So it's got a wall mount on it. Just there we go. That's the right side around. So let's just say we've got a wall mounted candle. Now I'm going to use control to just put it in the right spot. So we've got a wall mounted candle there. Then let's have. Uh, da, 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 da. So let's just say there's just a, a stool. the stool just right here. So then we come along, come down a set of steps, around through here, into this room. And in this room, we can have uh, we'd have a bed against that wall. And then we have a dresser. 
against this wall. So let's just put it there. So we need to move the get the layering between the dresser and the bed right. Move the bed over a bit more. There we go. And then let's have a oh, let's have a chair beside uh, the bed. This is where our whoever lives here you know, sits down at night. And let's pop in a, a that's a wall mount candle here. So let's have a, a large, large one. Let's put it, let's put it in this corner. So again, we just need to get everything in the right positions. There we go. So you can go and do things like, um, you know, hallways, different levels, the whole works up to you. Um, one thing that I'm starting to experiment with is the dynamic lights. So let's, let's try putting one in. Uh, so let's put a candle right there. Uh, actually, let's turn on the lights and then we'll pop another candle. Actually, should be a few candles. Um, let's go torch. Oops. I've oh, got to add light. Add light type. Torch. Yeah. But, you know, it, it's something to experiment with. I hope you have a lot of fun building adventure maps with the isometric map tiles. If you have any questions, uh, please post in the comments. Please like and subscribe my channel if you want to see more bits and pieces. Um, and I'm always happy to get feedback. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day or night or whatever it is. Thank you.